Well, I was going to ask you, what do you do when you feel that um, our main media outlets are not accurately reporting the situation? It's interesting because our experiences are very different. You haven't been in Ottawa or in Canada since this started, right? So you have a perspective only that's coming through various kinds of, of media and other sorts of information sources. I was there Sunday through Tuesday. Um, and I have to say that being there, and I can say I had my young daughter with me uh, out walking on the streets, talking with truckers, and um, I didn't feel afraid one moment. Um, I didn't see most of the, no, I'm not, you know, I wasn't every place at every moment, of course, um, but I did not, what I'm seeing reported, uh, you know, in CTV and Global and uh, CBC, it's like a parallel realities. It's a planned, no worse than that, it's a planned parallel reality, which is fundamentally equivalent to a totalitarian encroachment. I mean, CBC should be shut down. Canadians should just say enough. There's, there's, there's absolutely no excuse whatsoever for another single dollar of Canadian taxpayer money to go to support that appallingly corrupt, ideologically uh, warped, politically correct, collusionary media source with the federal government. It's inexcusable. And the rest of the media, well, it's part of their pronounced death spiral. You see a little exception to that. Uh, the Toronto Sun has had some decent reporting. You see it pop up now and then in the National Post. You see it pop up now and then even in the Globe and Mail. But by and large, it's almost impossible to see what's actually going on in Ottawa. Can't even get a reasonable estimate of the number of people there.